The airplane we're about to see two of was the Royal Air Force's second jet fighter from the Norwegian Air Force Historical Squadron, a pair of the Havilland Vampires. Captain Eric Brown, Winkle as he was known, made the first ever landing and takeoff on an aircraft carrier using a jet aeroplane with a vampire aboard HMS Ocean in December 1945. But with the RAF, its exploits were legion. On what was called Victory Day in 1946, commemorating the end of the war a year earlier, number 247 Squadron, which was the first RAF vampire unit, made the first fly pass by jet aircraft over London. The first ever RAF jet aircraft, and by a small margin, the first jet aircraft of all to fly across the Atlantic. Used in 1949, and they served around the world with the Second Tactical Air Force in Germany, with the Middle East and Far East Air Forces. 
They were used in counterinsurgency operations against Malayan terrorists. And of course, there were two sea vampires. The first of them was reportedly delighted when it was announced that their first jets would be also British fighters in the form of vampires. They had 62 of them. And that's the reason the Norwegian Air Force Historical Squadron operates these two aircraft. They're both ex-Swiss Air Force. The lead aircraft is a two-seat B-55. The second one, a single-seat FB-6 fighter bomber. of the British Air Forces of Occupation in post-war Germany. In the markings of number 72 squadron. That was a unit north wheel during the Second World War. Now it's because of that that the Norwegian Air Force Historical Squadron when it's the summer air show appearances often temporarily bases the aircraft at North Weald, helping perpetuate that link. And of course, both of the squadrons represented by the two vampires are still very much a part of the current Royal Air Force and its training setup. Number four squadron on the Hawk T2 at Valley. We've got several jet provosts. We've got the fallen Nat from the Nat display team at North Weald. But in the air, we've just enjoyed the sight and the sound of a quite enchanting display by the Norwegian Air Force Historical Squadron, led by its founder, Kenneth Orkdisler. He's a man with nearly 15,000 flying hours to his credit, a lot of them during his career from which he's now retired as a captain for Scandinavian Airlines. He now runs the Historical Squadron beautiful rock steady formation with Kenneth is Yiri Matila from Finland flying Hawks and FA-18 Hornets. But he's recently joined the Historical squadron, the things used to fly vampires as well. He's also an accomplished uh, display pilot on aerobatic aircraft in Finland. From the Goblin engine for two de Havilland vampires of the Norwegian Air Force Historical Squadron. Uh, in the vintage village and uh, bringing alive the uh, true spirit of the wartime.